meteorologist Chris Boone. But weather-wise across the state, it's been a pretty pleasant day. We did see some of those showers off towards the eastern parts of the Texas, and we saw bring some of that severe weather in eastern Texas yesterday. That upper level low, really see that well-defined circulation moving out towards Louisiana and in towards Mississippi. That allows high pressure to rebuild back over the Lone Star State. That means more of a quiet weather pattern for at least here, for at least us here in the Concho Valley. Looking at a pretty quiet satellite and radar, nothing really showing up. And again, that's because we saw clear blue skies for the majority of the afternoon. In fact, looking at our cactus cam off towards the west, it's in a clear blue sky for a fantastic sunset. Temperatures right now 76 degrees in downtown San Angelo, but very dry. Dew point 10 percent. Air 10% for our humidity dew point at 16 degrees and so because of those northerly winds at 9 miles per hour. But as we go into the next couple days, we're going to start to see those winds really turn out of the south and that's going to accelerate too. We'll see them getting much more gustier, very similar to what we saw yesterday versus what we saw today. Where we saw winds mostly in the teens. 70s for much of the Concho Valley, slightly cooler off towards the east. 72 in Brady, Coleman, as well as Eden. 77 here in San Angelo, Robert Lee, 75 in El Dorado. So again, comfortable temperature-wise, it's about where we should be for this time of year. As we go through the next couple of hours, we'll still get temp temp temperatures dropping down into the 60s and 50s as we go into the evening hours past sunset, only dropping into the low 40s for our overnight low. So again, a little bit chilly. If you have any evening plans, I might want to grab a light jacket, but otherwise, it's going to be a clear night. Temperatures then over dropping down into the low 40s. And then as we go into tomorrow, though, and we're going to be looking for much warmer temperatures. I thought I'd go ahead and fill out my bracket, not just for the March Madness, but for my weather. Start with the, uh, let's start with this region up here with our sky condition. I think sunny conditions, they're likely going to make it out of that region, given how strong they've been as of late. And we'll talk about the overnight lows. We got down to 40 last night. I think they're going to come out of that region as well. And then talking about those winds, I already kind of spoiled that one. Southwest winds, those are going to be bringing uh, those gustier conditions for us as we kind of go in towards the afternoon. Now the question is, how high can we expect to get? I think 82 is the big temperature to kind of go. They had a really strong conference. So your bracket cast forecast for Wednesday, temperatures getting into the low 80s. Overnight lows in the 40s. Strong winds, though. It's going to be very gusty as this winds turn more out of the south. And as you can see, picking up into the 25 and even 30 miles per hour as we go into your Wednesday, as well as into your Thursday as well. So breezy conditions. Definitely going to be extra careful. We've already seen some of those wildfires, especially out in Ronalds County. We can see that continue for or much of the Concho Valley, given how dry we're going to be with those windier conditions expected for the next couple of days. So definitely watching out for that fire risk over the next few days. And then we see a cold front come through later in the week on Friday. That's going to cool us down just a tad bit and knock us back down into the 70s. No rain expected with this first cold front, but we do have eyes on some rain chances for early next week with our second cold front. So again, windy conditions for the next two days. Again, temperatures in the low 80s. So we can Fantastic weather if you're getting out and about. Cool down for us on Friday as well as Saturday, and then breezier and warmer going into next week.